Have you ever started a project with a ton of nested folders? And most like, let's talk about a React application. You have a bunch of folders inside of, app, of your app. And then when you go to a specific file, let's say this main app.js, and you want to import a file from there. So I have an example here. This is a simple create React app with TypeScript. So it's very important that this the thing I'm going to talk about only it only works in TypeScript. So let's confirm that it works. So I start the application. I do um, so I actually created this application with this command here with npx. So if you want to follow along, you can do the same. And then I press npm start. So this should start the server. It's a very very vanilla you know vanilla app. So as you can see here, there's nothing special. This is a plain app. So now let's say I have a folder here. I created this folder called utils. So it's very pretty common that you have the folder, something like a util folder. And inside of it, you have a bunch of extra folders called currency for currency, utility, date utils, or string helpers. Inside string helper, you actually have more folders called language. And then there's German folder with whatever that is. So these are all plain functions. There's nothing stressful about them. Each one of them are pretty standard, right? I'm just exporting them and there's nothing special. So let's say I'm on the app TSX and I want to import, let's say the German, right? Let's import, I'm going to type it from here. So you have some auto completion right here. So I'm going to go to uh, utils, right? So you have some auto complete here. I want to go to string helpers. I want to go to language, German, truncate. So this is how much it takes to import something from the folder. Uh, let's see, I don't think, I think I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so something like that, right? So you have to import like all of this stuff. It's This pathing gets crazy. So let's say I'm inside of this truncate and I, I wanna import something from out there. I had to go all the way back up to another folder and then just to navigate like I just did to, in order to find a file. So this is very cumbersome and there's actually a really nice trick with TypeScript to actually help you make this easier. The thing I'm talking about is called type alias. So type alias is something you can define in config, TS config JSON. So this is the TypeScript configuration file. All of your uh, TypeScript based project is probably gonna have something like that. So under compiler options, we're gonna ask a bit of entries. So let's add a base URL. So this base URL is like where you want the base folder to be. For me, for this project, I'm just gonna be the base path. This doc here means my base is gonna be the root path. So the next thing I wanna add is called paths. So paths is extremely powerful, is that here you can define specific routes with a shortcut. So let's say I want to import some, let's say I want like, I have this folder called util, right? Usually if I want to get to utils from my app.js, I will have to do this. So I'm in the root folder, I have to go to utils, right? And then I can do blah, 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 whatever I want. So what if I don't, what if I want the, um, actually let's go, let's do currency for example. So I, if I want to go to currency, I have to go to util currency and then import the currency transformer. So let's see how we can make this simpler with type path, alias path. So let's go here. And then in here, let's define a new shortcut. So I want to call this hat. So bear with me with the syntax here. You'll, you'll make sense later. So I want to call this currency. And then here, sorry, I got to do this. I want everything under currency to be alias like so. So I mean the root path. So this is a, the, the value here is like what the actual path is for that alias. So for me, I want to go to source and then I go to utils and then I go to currency. And I want everything on the currency to be alias as at currency. So now if I go back here, so if I want to import stuff on currency, here's how the currency folder looks like, right? You have a currency which is under util, under source. So now, instead of doing this, I'm just gonna comment this out and then I'll tell you the, the shortcut way. So you can do, let me do something. So 
Now you see this new option here, this appear, this add currency. This is something an alias I just made from the config here. So TypeScript immediately recognizes the currency shortcuts. And now all I have to do, now I'm actually inside the currency path. So if I do class, you see currency transformer. So it knows, and this is a valid import, right? So it by doing add currency, it takes me directly to util currency and I don't have to do anymore. I don't have to type utils anymore. Now imagine this is like 10 levels deep. So now I just have to do one level and then get to the folder, the function I want. Isn't that nice? Now same thing I can do, let's do an example with the language folder. So I want to do another example and this time I want it to be at German. So anything inside the German util I do want it to alias it to source utils and then let's go let's see what Germany is source utils string helper helpers and then language German so yeah instead of this whole path here now all I have to do is let's try it import something from at German, there's German. And then I go next, and then inside of it, I should have a truncate. Did I get it right? Language, German, let's see, string helpers, source, util. Oh, right, so you always need the S star here. That means you want to export everything into this alias in this path. So now if I do German, I get a truncate function. Now, this is after. Now, let's compare it to before. So before the alias, right, we have to do utils, string helpers, language, German, truncate. Now look at those two. Look at how different and how easy this is to read compared to that. And what's good is you can command click and it will take you to the actual file. So this is super smart, super nice that TypeScript is able to, de to infer the actual location based on the setup you have here. So I hope you guys find this useful. Definitely use it on your projects, especially if you have multiple nested folders. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my sponsor in the comments in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.